Sample Tank 4 is a 16-part virtual instrument with dedicated effects racks and players for each part. It's really easy to get around the instrument. Let's take a look. There are eight basic windows in Sample Tank 4. There's the Parts view, the Instrument Browser, the Edit Panel, the Effects Rack, the Player Panel, the Layer Editor, the Mixer, and the Live Mode view. Let's start with the Parts view. This is the window you see when you first open Sample Tank 4. Think of it as Sample Tank's homepage. The Parts view has 16 rows, one for each part. The part is the slot or the location that holds the instrument. For each part, you can set the volume, the pan position, the MIDI channel, the note transposition value, the play status for the part's MIDI and loop player, and also mute and solo the part. To load an instrument into a part, you simply click in the instrument column. As you hover over the instrument column, you'll see the text Load Instrument appear. Click Load Instrument. If you want to replace an instrument in the current part, click the instrument name. Clicking in the instrument column from any window in Sample Tank 4 will open the instrument browser. The instrument browser is a powerful tool to help you quickly and efficiently find the right instrument for your song. There are several filters that you can apply that will fine-tune the list of instruments that gets displayed. With literally thousands of instruments available in Sample Tank, you can use these filters to narrow down the list. The instrument browser has five columns, library, categories, filters, instruments, and info. The instruments column in the center is the most important. The instruments column is your master list of instruments. Double-click an instrument name in this list to load the instrument into the current part. This list can be filtered by the three columns on the left. Selecting items from these columns reduces the number of instruments that are displayed in the Instruments column to help you zero in on exactly the instrument you're looking for. The Library column lets you filter the instrument list by specific Sample Tank libraries. This includes the Master Sample Tank 4 library, as well as other powered by Sample Tank virtual instruments like Syntronic and Miroslav Philharmonic 2. Click one or more titles in the library column to display the instruments from only those libraries in the instruments column. To clear all selections in the library column, click the X at the top right to deselect all libraries in the column. The Categories column lets you select specific instrument categories, such as piano, bass, or drums. Click one or more categories in this column to show only the instruments from those categories in the instruments column. Like the Library column, you can click the X at the upper right of the Categories column to clear your selections and show instruments from all the categories. The Filters column lets you get even more specific. Here you can filter the Instruments column by four sets of keywords. The first set of keywords is Timbre. Timbre includes keywords that describe the sound with adjectives such as bowed, bright, or warm. Below Timbre is the next set of keywords, the Style. Style lets you filter the instrument list with keywords like atmospheric, modern, or vintage. Below the style section is musical genre. Here you can filter the instrument list by specific genres such as pop, rock, cinematic, or electronic. Then finally, there's a list of keywords for the mood. Here you can filter the instrument by various moods such as aggressive, calm, or imaginative. You'll also see a star at the top of the Filters column. Click this to only show instruments that you've marked as your favorites. And as with the other columns, to clear your selections, click the X at the top right of the Filters column. Finally, the last section of the browser is the Info column. Click an instrument in this list to see its icon, a description of the instrument, its effects, and descriptions of its eight macro controls, which are quick parameters to adjust the most useful settings for the instrument. You'll notice the Info column has a star to the left of the instrument name, which you can use to mark the instrument as a favorite. Close the instrument browser by clicking the X at the top right. Alternatively, to get to another window, you can click any of the screen icons in the top or bottom rows, like the mixer in the top row or the effects rack in the bottom row. Click the Edit icon at the left of the lower bar to open the Edit panel. Here you can edit the deep synthesis parameters of the loaded instrument. 
Note that Sample Tank 4 supports legacy Sample Tank 3 instruments in their native format. The edit panel will indicate that you're working with a Sample Tank 3 instrument with the ST3 Legacy badge at the top left, just below the Zone button. The edit panel controls are different for Sample Tank 3 and Sample Tank 4 instruments. This is because Sample Tank 4 uses a different synthesis engine, and this means more parameters are available for Sample Tank 4 instruments than for legacy Sample Tank 3 instruments. For example, the modulation matrix is only available for Sample Tank 4 instruments. However, for both types of instruments, you can assign MIDI controllers to a parameter by right-clicking the parameter and then selecting MIDI Learn. Now move your desired controller and the sample tank parameter will now be associated with that controller. Then to assign MIDI controllers to the eight macro controls, click the MIDI jack icon at the right side of the lower bar. Speaking of the macro controls, you can view them by clicking the macro icon at the right side of the in-app keyboard. Now you will see eight macro knobs with their labels. These macros are pre-programmed by the IK sound design team to control the most important parameters in the instrument. For Sample Tank 4 instruments, you can reassign the macros using the modulation matrix on the edit panel. Now let's look at the effects rack. Click the effects rack icon at the left of the lower bar to open the five slot effects rack that's unique for each Sample Tank instrument. This means that all 16 parts in Sample Tank all have their own 5-slot effects rack, so you can do very detailed processing on each instrument without having to share effects. Click the top of the effects slot to load an effect into that slot, or to change the effect if one is already loaded there. Click the bottom of the effects slot to load or save effect presets. You can also drag the effects around within the rack to reorder them. The effects rack signal flow is serial, going from left to right. Next is the player panel. Click the arpeggio icon at the left of the lower bar to open the player panel. There are three different types of players. Arpeggiator, strummer, and phraser. All three of these generate MIDI notes based on the notes that you play on the keyboard. The arpeggiator plays various editable arpeggiations based on the chords you play. The strummer plays elaborate guitar-like strumming patterns with both manual and auto modes available. The phraser triggers preset MIDI sequences from MIDI notes on the keyboard. Then when a loop instrument is loaded, the player automatically becomes the loop manager. Here you can play audio loops with independent control over pitch and time, as well as set the trigger mode for each available loop in the instrument. Each part has its own player panel, so you have the ability to set up 16 separate arpeggiators, 16 separate strummers, 16 separate phrasers, 16 separate loop managers, or any combination thereof. Like the effects rack, the player panel settings are saved with the instrument. Now let's go to the top bar. Next to the part viewer icon is the layer editor icon. Click this to open the layer editor. The layer editor lets you see and edit the note and velocity range for all 16 parts as well as the instrument loaded into each part. You can edit the note range by dragging the edge of the range using the red handles or you can simply type in the note name for the high and low range by clicking the field. You can also click and drag vertically to change the note. Similarly, you can change the high and low velocity range either by clicking the field and typing in the velocity value or by clicking the field and dragging up or down. Then for instruments with assigned players or for audio loop instruments, you can set the trigger mode at the left of each part row. You can also set the latch state for each part. To load a new instrument into any part on the layer editor, just click above the keyboard for the desired part in the center instrument column. This will open the instrument browser, just like in the part viewer. When you have instruments loaded into multiple parts, you definitely want to use the mixer. Click the mixer icon in the top bar to open it. 
The mixer is a DAW style mixing board with vertical channel strips for each part along with four return channels and a master channel. Here you can adjust the volume and pan position of each channel, mute or solo each channel, and also set the effect send amount for each of four sends. The four sends have corresponding return channels at the far right of the mixer. Use the return channels for shared effects like reverbs and delays, or for bus processing the multiple parts of a drum kit, or even a complete rhythm section. Each send can be pre or post fader. There's a master channel at the extreme far right of the mixer for master bus processing. Every channel shows its five effect slots. Click a slot to load a new effect into it. You can also click the arrow at the top right of each channel to display the panel for the selected effect. There's also a lock icon at the top of the channel to lock the effects. This will maintain the same effects chain in the part even when new instruments are loaded into it. And on that subject, to load instruments into each part on the mixer page, click the cell at the top of the channel. If the part has an instrument already loaded, you'll see the icon for the instrument at the top of the channel, and then the instrument name when you hover over it. Click here to open the instrument browser and load a new instrument into the part. If the part is empty, you'll see the word load appear when you hover over it. The last window is the live mode window. Click the list icon to the left of the multi name near the center of the top bar to enter live mode. Live Mode lets you assign MIDI program change numbers to multis or single instruments so that you can load them from an external MIDI controller during live performance or busy studio sessions. Groups of multis and single instruments can be saved as a song, and the samples for every instrument within the song are all loaded together for faster switching. You can also assign each song its own MIDI program change to change songs from an external controller. Collections of songs can be saved as a set list using the set list manager in the top bar. With these eight windows, you can manage your sample tank instruments with efficiency and speed. We'll go into more detail for the specific windows in future videos.